everyone, it's Tess Whitehurst. Today, our topic is focusing on pleasure and enjoyment and awakening to magic, as well as awakening to the magic of the natural world. So I think about the realm of the Fae when I think about awakening to magic. So I think of fairies as the conscious aliveness of nature. And this is real though. It's like, it's not just like, oh, it's not, it's not magical fairies. It's just the conscious aliveness of nature. No, it is magical fairies and the conscious aliveness of nature. They are one in the same. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then what I recommend, actually I recommend this whether you do or do not know what I'm talking about, but my point is you can consciously, uh, individually experience this directly for yourself. So if you go out in nature, just take a walk, Go, or you could step outside into your backyard, really. Go outside, anywhere where there's the sky and at least a plant or two then and then take a moment to be present so it's best if your phone is not with you or your phone is off or you just have it on do not disturb or something this is we're entering into a different realm than the constantly checking and being aware of your phone realm so at first i talk about i i like to mention <laughs> that the experience there's a sort of a portal you go through where at first there's boredom or there's the fear of boredom. This is going to be boring. Even just getting out of the house can be like, oh, it's not going to be that great. Take a walk. Oh, you know, I feel like there's always that when we're kind of in the zone of, you know, striving, checking your phone, getting things done, kind of being in that sort of timeline with the to-do list sort of zone then taking time to go for a walk or go outside in nature feels to that part of our brain like like it that part of our brain tries to convince us it's going to be a waste of time or boring or something then you get outside and it is still for a moment it does feel like oh this is well, why am i just a little bit maybe not all of you have this this is <laughs> this is like there's a layer at which a level at which i experience this so many of you i am imagining may also experience this but it always reliably i am always able to transcend that not only am i able to but i am overjoyed that i have and that is because the the conscious aliveness of nature begins to open up to you when you simply choose to focus on it and enjoy it and pay attention to it it's like there's a it's kind of like in the 90s those um those pictures those magic eye pictures where you would stare and stare and stare and be like there's nothing there's nothing this is nothing and then there and then an image would show up and then you would see this like sort of three-dimensional image it's very much like that tuning into the realm of the fae or the conscious aliveness of nature where you're like okay here i am let me look at the light let me look at the flowers oh there's a tree oh there's a cloud moving like and then you're in it and then there's an aliveness to it and you're present with it and it sensitizes you to pleasure and enjoyment in the present moment which this is the thing, right? I mean, like, there's a level at which it makes sense for us to strive to want to achieve things, to want to win in a sort of a human everyday sense in any number of realms. Fine, totally fine. I mean, even I would say in just on there is a level at which it's sort of necessary to have something like that, even if at some point in life it's just, you know, like playing pickleball or <laughs> gardening or something. It's like we like to have endeavors that we feel like have we have some degree of success at or we're learning about you know I mean that this makes total sense um, but when we get trapped in only like what am I doing what am I learning how am I succeeding um, at what sort of measurable progress am I making then there's a real huge thing that we're missing which is soaking in the magic and mystery of being alive on earth as human so so the and this is all to me aligned with the realm of the fae which is such it's like our our own 
uh, undomesticated nature. So we're still, of course, dom very domesticated beings, creatures, but like all domesticated creatures, we have also wildness still in our DNA. And that wildness, tapping into it regularly, helps us tap into our sense of pleasure, joy, fun, and interconnectedness with nature, which is also interconnectedness with others and our loved ones and our cats and our dogs and our flowers and our plants. It's a, it's a, a level of consciousness that we don't want to ignore. And there's so much there. There's intuition, there's laughter, there's play, there's creativity. There's uh, authentic, deep connection that transcends the ego. So this is an important realm to pay attention to. And this has this video has been inspired by the card I drew for this week from the Oracle of Portals, my new Oracle deck. And that card is the realm of the Fae. So it's portal into the realm of the Fae. So I did want to read to you from the card description, just one paragraph and then specifically a couple sentences at the end that really stood out. So this is the paragraph. During your time of sacred communion with nature, silently ask the fairies to surround and support you. Then look for things that sparkle and dance like sunlight on water, shiny leaves fluttering, bright stars, butterflies, and blossoms that quiver gently in the breeze. Let them catch your eye and delight you. Inhale the subtle scents like flowers, trees, and soil. Okay, now here's the part I want you to really, really pay attention to. Don't look for blessings or guidance. Look simply for beauty. Prioritize presence and appreciation, and whatever it is you seek will arrive on the wings of your quiet interconnection with the natural world. So I like this too because sometimes we can even make magical living, kind of put it into the same box that we put into our sort of striving, egoic, human, linear mind. Like, why am I doing this? For abundance. I'm doing this so I can receive guidance about my relationship. What's the guidance? Nature. But with nature, it's an intuition, magical consciousness, it's different. It's not that linear sort of egoic. I mean, no judgment on the ego. The ego is a part of our consciousness. We need it. Um, but when we identify with it overly, then we miss the magical consciousness, which is not linear. It's more like mandalas and spirals and circles and swirls. And we can get into that consciousness by simply enjoying nature, Lenny. And that, that's what I'm talking about with that shift. It's like the ego quiets down, the linear, like, what am I doing? What is the purpose of this? How am I improving? And then it's like, oh, here I am. Here's the sunlight on water. And then you get into that consciousness and then everything opens up to you. So this is something to think about this week as well as, which is interconnected, everyday pleasure and enjoyment. So like just letting yourself enjoy things like, like a child does. Finding the things, not judging those things. Like this is a waste of time to find so much joy in this. I was having this with jewelry and clothes the other day because I had a clothes swap at my house and I have a bunch of new clothes and jewelry and I was like, I have all this, these new things. And it's like, like a child. And it, at, for a moment, I did want to judge it. Like, wow, I'm really, really excited about this new stuff. And then I was like, good, this is great. Let yourself have a childlike enjoyment. That childlike enjoyment is connected with the Fae. It's also connected with nature. And it's connected with this consciousness, which is about appreciation and presence. So that's our message for this week. And as I mentioned, this the card is from the Oracle of Portals. I know I have learned... Many of you have pre-ordered from Amazon, which I am grateful for. And I have learned that there has been, because of the delay, because of supply chain stuff, there's a little extra delay with some of the pre-order. So my apologies for that. But soon they, they should get stocked in Amazon. They do exist. They are in the warehouse at Llewellyn from Blue Angel in Australia. They're getting there. Um, so thank you for your patience if you're one of the people who pre-ordered. 
thank you to everyone who has ordered um and i hope you enjoy it i'm really loving working with this deck so thanks for watching please like and subscribe on youtube and sign up for my newsletter if you haven't done that yet which you can do under any of the blog posts at tesswhitehurst.com so thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon